Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations and today I'm finally bringing you the final product, my final product for the project. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, but my project for Sunny Creates, uh, my um, design team project. It is a lab book. It's my first lab book ever. And let me tell you, it took a long time since yesterday to complete dates to complete this for the whole two days. I went to bed, I don't know at what time yesterday, well, this morning, and then I went to church and I came back and continued working on my lab book. And it's the first time that I create a lab book. And let me tell you, I am, it's not because I made it, but I am proud of this lab book. Um, I think this is a lab book. I was looking for information, what is a lab book and all that, you know, stuff before I created this. And for me, it's a lab book. So let me give you, before I show you the final product, you know, and do a flip through, the measurements of this lab book uh, um, is seven inches wide by 10 inches long. And then my spine is one and a half inches and it had two spines. Let's double the spine. Um, I put a frog, that's the name of this, the frog, frog closure. Um, and then I decorated my side with lace and lace trim. Um, I try, you know, that I have my elastic here for my signatures. I try not to cover the elastic with any glue, you see? So they are available there. They're, they're, you know, you can move them around and I just put the glue in between my elastics and all that. Then on this side, I did the same thing for the spine on the right side. And then the backs just stay just with the pretty paper from my Floral Fantasy Digital Kit that I'm using from Sunny Creates. And then on the front, I'm using the paper, but I added some appliques. This one's here, it was an old doily, um, and I just cut pieces and put it different places. I added a lace trim here, this flower appliques, and then this purse or um, flat, uh, how do you call this flat back pairs? Something like that, but you know what I what I meant. So you open this here and I made some changes because for me at first how I have it before it looked kind of messy inside. So let me show you what I did. I just added two more flaps and I will give you measurements. It's not a biggie. Um so let me open this. Here I added uh, a pocket with a journaling card and I added Velcro here, a small Velcro. And I added a pocket here with some of the quote from the digital kit, a mini tag. I created, this was like a large label and I just created a belly band with that label and I added this tag here. Here's the mini Velcro. I just took a Velcro this size um, and I cut it in half. And I got this Velcro's uh, Dollar Tree. So it's like a half Velcro here and then half a Velcro on this side. Um, this is what I add. I added this flap here to cover my journal, just to divide it like, um, to feel more organized. So I added this flap to cover my journal and then I added another flap here to cover the rest of the lab book. And that way it feel more organized to me. Um, the size of this is just seven by 10. No, seven and a quarter by 10 and I score on the quarter line, the quarter inch, <laughs> excuse me, line. And I added that flap here beside my elastic 
or uh, I attach my signature and I just added some lace here just to cover it up. Um, this tag here, um, I created, um, I have a tutorial where I did this cluster tags. And what I did is I just added a quote from the collection here. And I had this here just for decoration purposes with my dangle here. And I added one of the mini tabs that came on the collection. And then here's my two signatures. And you know that signatures are removable because we attach them with elastic. Let me get it here out. So you are able to remove your elastic. I think I'm gonna cut this here of my signature and just make a five by eight. This one is right now, I think it's five and a um, one eighth of an inch by eight and one eighth of an inch. So I'm just gonna trim just this little bit here. That way my elastic won't mess up that part of my signature, but both signatures are removable. The signature have 26 pages each, 13 pages folded in half. So I, I, that's one change that I'm gonna make to my signature, just to trim a little bit of that excess paper that I have around my signature. And I'm just gonna make a seven by eight, I'm sorry, five by eight instead of the extra one eighth of an inch. So the signature, you already saw them, but um, as if you watch my first tutorial where we created a base for this project. So this is part of my digital, uh, the digital paper that I'm using. I just added some avocado dye papers and dictionary page. This is just copy paper that I dye, you know, using avocado peels. Part of the, this is part of the collection, layers and so, so on, you know. So I added some pages from the digital kit and some copy paper, layer paper and created the signatures and both signatures have 13 pages folded in half without counting the, the cover. So it's 26 pages each. I have a tutorial where I did this chubby chick um, flowers. Um, I added this one here. It's a chubby chick flower. I have a tutorial and, and created four different designs of chubby chick flowers. So I added there with my flap. And then on this side, I added a pocket with a bingo card. My Velcro, half Velcro here. That's another label that I created like a belly band. And I have this tag here, a quote from the collection. This is a ticket that came on, on the digital kit and I just created a belly band. This flower, I received it in Happy Mail, but I just decided to add it there just for interest and you know, to make it cute. I have a postcard from the collection. Then on my flaps here, I added this mini file folder. Came there, I'm gonna put something inside. I haven't put anything yet. And I put this token or I don't know, how, a coin or I don't know how to call this. Um, trying to think, it came on the collection too. And I created a pocket behind my file folder. And I put this little journaling card more quotes from the collection pocket this is like a um envelope this is another chubby chick this one this flower um somebody sent me a happy mail I, I didn't create this one and a quote from the collection here a pocket and then somebody sent me this tag and it goes beautifully with the paper, with the colors and the butterflies. So I just decided to put that tag there. This is another chubby chick flower that I received in a happy mail. And I just use it to decorate my flap here. Another pocket and another tag that somebody sent me with the other one. This is 
from the collection. And then a postcard with a pocket. Here on this flap, um, I added this vintage trim lace uh, and these flowers. This pocket with a journaling card. And then this go up. And I added one envelope here. This is an envelope that came on the collection. Here you can write like a, um, how do you call that? Like a hidden message. And the, I put the envelope. This is the back of the envelope, but I created a pocket with the envelope and added a, a journaling card here in the back. And then you can add a hidden message here. Then here I added this, uh, it, it was a postcard from the collection and I just created a pocket and add a journaling card on this flap here. Then um, the small envelope that I created, let me put this up here, let me see if I can. Um, I glue it down on this flap and I created, you know, my pocket. This is an envelope that I created. Um, so I put a pocket here and then you have another hidden pocket here. Um, it's kind of a belly band. It's open on both sides. So I need something longer than this to put in here. And then you have this envelope. I didn't add anything to this envelope yet. I need to print more stuff. But um, we have two going to the left and two going to the right. And I'm thinking to add something here. I don't like how this look here. So I'm thinking to add, um, I, I don't know yet, but like maybe something like this, smaller than this, like another envelope here. And then you can open it and it has something extra here. This one is too big. I may cut um, the side or use a wire envelope. I don't know, but I'm gonna cover this. I don't like how this look. So just to let you know that this will be covered. I want something big that will cover the whole thing. So I don't know, yeah, I may use that envelope and use it brown like that, like craft color and add some of the die cut that the collection brings. Um, but that's my plan for this here. I'm gonna cover that. So this will close here. Then this flaps will go here to the left. And then you have this here with your journal, your other flap. And uh, let me put my tag back inside. And that's it. So what do you think? Do you think that this can be called a lab book? I think so, right? So I am pretty happy with the result. The only thing that I need to do is to cover that back panel that I showed you. Um, I, I don't know yet what I'm going to do, but I'm going to cover it because I don't like it. So um, this is it for my project. This is how it looks all the way around and the paper that i used was um, floral fantasy from sunny creates and she will give you a 20 percent discount code that i'm gonna leave below in case you want to order this beautiful beautiful paper and please give me thumbs up let me know how i did on my first lap book I will really appreciate all the comments that you can leave for me. I love to read your comments. I will leave you a heart. I will answer your comments, any suggestions. I am not going to get mad if you say something to me, you know, as long as you are polite. Um, you can leave any comments below and I will really appreciate it. When you leave comments and you give me a thumbs up, um, YouTube recommend my channel to other people and also if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel I'm trying to reach the 900 subscribers and I think right now I'm on a hundred and thirty two I think 31 I don't know I have to check 35 maybe so um, please share my channel with your friends 
and don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you will receive um, notifications from YouTube every time that I upload a video thank you everyone for your support thank you for watching and happy crafting